Girls soccer. Boys soccer. Baseball. Softball and track. It's that time of the year. Spring sports and you're listening to From, from pitch, pitch to Pitch, pitch and, and Everything in Between. between. You're back watching the second edition of From Pitch to Pitch and Everything in Between. Yeah. And this week has honestly been a rough week for Buford Sports. Very. Taking a few losses from one from, you know, AJ in baseball, mm. uh, some of our JV teams not doing great, and even our varsity boys and girls soccer teams taking losses. Yeah, we lost region. Y'all won region, right? Yeah, we did uh, win region. Um, we lost region because we had to beat York Prep by three points, and it was one to one until two minutes left in yeah. the game. So it was well, I think it was about five minutes, and they scored um a goal that was mostly probably our defenses. Like everybody, like we just it was getting we were trying to keep working yeah. and stop them from getting in, but. <laughs> You know, I mean, sometimes that just happens. You know, yeah. goals that shouldn't happen, you know, they do. And that's how uh, we lost this past Monday, I believe. We played Linkster, uh, and they beat us 2-1. to one. Mm. The first goal they scored, uh, I mean, from, from where we were and on the video, it looks mm -hmm. like he was offsides when the ball was played. Yeah. And so he scores when he's offsides. Who but was it? Uh, Sergio, who's cool. Uh, and so, you know, I don't I don't really know if he was, but that's what I think. And for our goal, you know, they scored one and we scored the next. We scored off of a, I corner. believe it was a corner or throw-in. Who and, scored it? Uh, Bryce Bridges mm. scored it. And, I, I mean, it has to be because how small he is. No, <laughs> one, no one marks up and no one sees him or something. And he's always there on corners or throw-ins really? to just tap it in. That's it. He um, has actually scored since since the last AJ game. I'm pretty sure he's scored every single game no, since uh, then. I and he's a freshman. He is a freshman. Uh, I I could be wrong though, but I know he scored against Slinkster. I believe York Prep. Um, who who did we play before then? That I can't remember. But Chester. Yeah, uh, no, we played Chester in the beginning. No. Uh, but uh, yeah, he he didn't. He has been scoring a lot recently. He's been doing really well. That's um, good. Our varsity boys team has been doing well besides, you know, Lancaster. Like you said, we did win region. Um, we had to beat York Prep. By, we just had to beat them. That's yeah. it. And we won 8-2, to two, I believe, mm -hmm. to win. And so that's the first time in seven or eight years that we have won region. That's crazy. And that AJ hasn't won region. Um. I'm pretty sure we both go in the playoffs next week, right? Yes, we do. We um, our week. playoffs is – our first round is Tuesday. If y'all want to come watch, we don't know where it's going to be at yet. Um, we might with our standings because we're 12-2 and two right now. So, I think – I mean, we have a chance of getting a home game for the first round. Okay. But I don't think so. – I, I honestly don't know. We don't even know who we're going against. So, uh, what happened? Like, I mean, I heard a game was canceled the other day. So, what all happened with um, that? So, Bowen and the other coach from um, York Comprehension – isn't it com co Comprehensive? It's, it's something like that, Comprehensive. Yeah. <laughs> co it's not Comprehension because uh, Miss Mettinger got on me for about that. It's Comprehensive. Um, they were talking, and they both just – came to um, an agreement that the game would have meant nothing. It wouldn't have affected anything in region or anything. It would have been just a simple scrimmage, basically. Yeah, basically. basically just a scrimmage, yeah. And so both coaches realize that they need to give their players a break sometimes. Mm -hmm. And considering we, if we make it past the first round and second, we have three games next week. Mm -hmm. So one being on Saturday, if we make it. So – I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I get what you mean. Uh, our We have a few games next week, and hopefully, you know, we are able to win it and, you know, win state this year. 
I mean, yeah. it's it's a hard goal, but it's a goal we want to accomplish, especially for the seniors who are graduating this year and mm -hmm. won't have another chance. Moving, you know, from one pitch to another, the mm -hmm. baseball uh, team, the boys' baseball team, has actually had a pretty good season this far, you know, coming second in region, and which is actually an improvement from last year. They didn't make third. Yeah. Unfortunately, they suffered a loss from AJ, a 7-6 loss, oh, yeah. a hard-fought game. It was pretty close. But, uh, you know, they've been doing better this season. And, actually, I heard that, you know, you got a chance to talk to the baseball coach. Yep, um, I talked to the baseball coach um, Thursday. Um, asked him how the season was going, and here's a clip of the interview. Success, we, we improved from last year to this year in that last year we finished third, and this year we're going to finish second in the region. Um, you know, so we're, we're guaranteed to host, you know, some playoff games this year. Um, you know, last year we had a great season, won a district, and we're going to try to do the same thing this year when we get in the playoffs. Um, but I think we've been stronger defensively and stronger top to bottom in the batting lineup, uh, which has helped us win a lot of games. And so we've, we've lost two games in region and I think eight games overall. But the eight games we've won or lost, I think, have all been quali quality losses um, and have made us better. So, You know, he actually does have some valid points talking about how Six of those losses really were uh, games that weren't in their region and don't yeah. count towards their region record. So those six games did nothing but help them improve, you know, things they needed to work on defensively and offensively, just show them things they needed to do. And I think those six games helped them out. And the two region games they lost, unfortunate games. But mm -hmm. they can always get it back it and them ready to the see future. what they can do in playoffs. It would help them in the future. Uh, they know what not to do, what to do, you know, stuff like that. Yep. And uh, good job, baseball, and yep. good luck in the playoffs. Yep, good luck. Softball has also, you know, had a well, like, good season going. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I had a chance to talk with Coach Allen mm -hmm. just to see what are some things she wanted to do, improve on, you know, because they, they had big region games upcoming. Yeah. And so here's what she had to say. Okay, Um. yes, so... Uh, tonight, Tuesday night, we play Chesterfield, and if we beat Chesterfield, then we would be in a three-way tie for first place with Chesterfield, Chiral, and ourselves. Um, if we were to win on Thursday and tonight, then we could possibly be region champs um, because then it would get, the tie would go from tie to point differential, and right now we are in the lead for that. Um, the girls have been working really hard the last several months, and I uh, hope we have a good week this week and end up uh, as region, region champs and um, help to prepare ourselves to go into the playoffs starting next Wednesday. Um, hopefully they can win this upcoming game so they can win region, break the tie and everything. Yeah, I mean, she did say that, and actually since that interview with her, they won both their games. They really? Beat, they beat Chesterfield 9-6, to six, I believe. Oh, my god. And goodness. then they beat North Central last night uh, on senior night. So Summer Morgan, Aspen King, Aspen King and, and Kelsey, Kelsey Watts. Yeah. Watts. Watts. Yeah, it's something. Like, <laughs> but, but, you know, sh like, great job to the softball team. Great for them. You know, winning a region is a big deal. Big deal. And, you know. They worked hard this season, yeah. as you know, Coach Allen said. So, I mean, I'm glad they could secure that region spot. And yeah, they definitely worked hard for it. They deserve it. And that North Central game must have sucked playing in the rain. Oh yeah, because they would have had to I, run I, in the mud. I love playing in the rain. Well, I like playing in the rain too, but like, in the mud. In the mud, like I've, I used to play baseball when I was like a kid, so like uh, maybe eleven. Right. Yeah. But I I that was only play, a few years ago. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it wasn't all right. It was it was back then, but it rained one time and we just were running and my like cleats would get just stuck sometimes because yeah. of how like muddy and bad it was. Well, there's the cons for soccer too because I mean the ball's wet, so when you go yeah. throw it in, it yeah, slips it's in just your hands. Slipping, but. Um, but you can slide tackle really easily. So. Yeah. But you know, shout out to the softball team. Great yeah, job. Good and, job. Good wins and way to win region. Yep. Alrighty. Um, I had a chance to talk to Eden Crinson on the track team. She's a freshman this year. Um, 
She's actually been a very important part of the track team. She's broken two records. Number really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to let um, her talk to y'all about it. I don't know. This track season's been, I feel like it's been pretty good. The coach has been working us hard, and we're about to go to our region meet. And I'm ready for that because I, I have the school record for the triple jump and the 400, and I hope I can go to state with that. And the other people on our team seem to be doing pretty good, too. So I think we have a chance to go to state. Well, that actually is crazy as a freshman breaking two records for the yeah. triple jump and the 400. Oh, yeah. Really, um, like, it's really good, actually. The region is up next, and Eden, like she said, is hoping to take it to state. Yeah. Those records. And, I mean, even if she can't freshman. this year, she's got three more years. Yeah. Like, to and break she started more doing records. that as a freshman. Yeah, break more records, mm -hmm. win state, and just... I, th I mean, I think she has a chance this year just to come out and, and she's do been, all that. This is her first year at a public school. Really? Uh-huh. She's um She was homeschooled for all of her life, and now she came to Buford, and she's breaking records. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's crazy to me as yeah. a freshman breaking records. like, And, you know, with Region Next, I uh, I think she'll do really good. Yeah, the whole track, and, they, like they said, the whole track team's been doing good. Mm -hmm. Um, They practice when we're out there practicing with soccer. They're constantly running, training, you know, Getting mm -hmm. discipline, yeah, not discipline like in a bad way, but like yeah, they're definitely they're definitely working hard. This mm -hmm. this wasn't just easy for them, and especially for Eden, you know, breaking those two records, she had to work while she's working just as hard as everyone else to break two records. Mm -hmm. You have to work even harder than yeah. anyone else does. Cause you, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And with that is the end of the second edition of from, from pitch, pitch to pitch and, and everything, everything in, between. in between. We'll see you next week.